G'day, fellas. Welcome to game number two of Samwise versus Kaiser Klein in the semi-finals for the $2,000 table topper featuring the United States. Spawning in the east of the map is Kaiser Klein playing his Germans. And spawning in the west of the map, his opponent is Samwise on the Spanish. For anybody unfamiliar with the format, this is game two. And game two means that the loser of the first game picks the map. So it was Samwise who picked this map, and then Kaiser Klein must pick his his civilization, which he obviously picked Germans, and then Sam gets to pick his matchup. Sam gets to see that Kaiser's playing Germans, and then he gets to say, "Okay, I'm going to play Spanish into your Germans." That way, we we maximize the the chance of a fair game occurring here because Kaiser Klein was able to take out the first victory, so we, we're giving that chance over to Sam Wise now, and see whether we can swing it back and forth between the players but nonetheless we've got a bit of a uh, a treasure going now out to kaiser klein kaiser klein finding a really nice treasure 100 food very good for germany opening up with that market start as well getting hunting dogs in queue no idle time at the moment at least it appears that way no idle time so very good start whenever you can start off uh with with no idle time but uh take a look at this uh this grove rickshaw going down to 55 hp is he gonna manage to get it in he does manage to get it in uh so in a relatively good spot can be used to to block this is actually a really nice spot it's in between the uh in, in between the the tree line as well as the market so maybe just a little bit of a mito wall being placed on either side is going to be enough to prevent units from getting through uh i i do actually think there's a little bit of pathing that uh that you can get through so th th the grove has got this this gate at the front. The mango grove has got this tiny little gate, but the, th the truth is that units can actually walk along like the trees right here. They can just go straight through that fence. They, they just walk straight over it. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's moving now down towards the south of the map where we see Samwise taking out a treasure and barely taking any damage. Uh, he, he just walked up to that. I was like, okay, it, it looks like he's used his crack shot. No, he'd used his crack shot and then he'd sniped the... Uh, the tiger all the way down to zero HP before taking it. it so picking up an 80 wood treasure, not too bad. We've got the Empress Zoe's cookbook, which is spawned in the middle of the map. A nice treasure for both civilizations. Typically, both of these civs aren't going to be building a lot of houses and, and they can use any population space that they can get. Uh, so that is uh, that is absolute quality. So now we've got the first... Or sorry, I think this is the second shipment coming in for Samwise. Uh, we've got a bit of a bit of a race right now, though. And, uh, and Kaiser Klein making a primary error... Uh, this is... Oh, he's in a difficult spot now because he's being attacked by uh, a, a lion-tailed macaque as well as uh, as Juan Fernandez. Fernandez, sorry. Juan Fernandez. Uh, so getting a lot of damage. He, I think he, the, he loses this explorer 100%. Look at this. Just trying to be cheeky. I guess the question... Oh my gosh. Isn't that just... So Samwise uh, stealing the treasure off Kaiser. Kaiser losing a whole bunch of HP on his explorer. But he's not going to lose his explorer though. He's going to be chased down by El Paso. But El Paso isn't going to be able to do... Enough to take him down. Potentially could see him uh, chase underneath the town center, but El Paso would probably be going down. I don't think that Samwise, uh, or I don't think Kaiser is going to be up in, in or aging up just yet. Just putting a couple villages in the town center saying, hey, I will scare you away if I have to. And it looks like he's actually going to pick up the war dog for free. Uh, so plus eight experience. So we'll take a look over and see what Samwise is up to. He's going up with the governor. We'll have a look at his deck. See what he's got going with the land deck. So we've got the ATP as well as the triple cav upgrades, triple infantry upgrades, Spanish gold, five four lances, nine eight rodoleros, the heavy cannons in age four. So a pretty standard deck, double food crates as well. So this is pretty much what you'd expect from a standard uh, Spanish age two or a, a standard Spanish. Oh, we got another treasure connection. It looks like it looks like Samwise stole this treasure as well. The 40 wood going up. Actually, I don't think it was a steal as much as it was uh, Samwise just managing not to lose the treasure off to Kaiser. I apologize for not seeing that one, but I'm, I'm just noticing that, that Sam had only gathered enough wood uh, to and, and had factored in that treasure. So, oh, look at that. Don't you love the way that the explorer just, you know, really can't work out where he wants to put that down, but... Kaiser wanting to put down a trading post as well, knowing that Sam's probably going to be taking that one. Even moving his settler wagon out because he wants to build this trading post, he's going to be brokenhearted when he realizes that Kaiser Klein is no longer able to do it because Samwise has put down a trading post of his own. So now he knows he's going to have to head out onto the battlefield. He's going to have to go and build a trading post himself, and he's going to have to do it with 68 HP. He's got the age up in queue going up with the quartermaster. But the question is, is... Is Samwise going to find it? Because Samwise has now built that second trading post and the, the explorer is now heading over towards the middle of the map. He doesn't... The, if he if he was smart, he would have seen that the, the ground just changed there. He 
He's not heading there, though. Let's take a look and see. We've got the 700 gold, 700 coin coming in. The outpost wagon. Where is the outpost wagon going? Down towards the center of the map. Sam making a little bit of an error here. Not doing the math and working out. Well, hold on. Two plus two is four. And then when you minus one, that's three. Uh, and obviously three equaling the trade post here. Two equaling the explorer as well as the, the civilization, Germany. So let's take a look at the deck for Kaiser Klein. Pretty standard stuff here. Two mercenary cards in the third age. We've got the Black Riders as well as the Jaegers. Double Ulands, double skirmishes, the heavy cannons as well. We've got economic theory in age one. Triple upgrades for cavalry as well as the silversmith's card. And we've got the three doppels as well in age two. So we do have that flexible pick. The outpost now being spotted by Kaiser Klein. He knows what's coming. So curious what we're going to see. We've got a barracks going down in the back at the moment. The house going up at the front. Interesting positions for houses. You know, I, I guess the way I think about it is, well, would I do I want this 1,200 uh, hit point building at the front when my opponent's probably going to hit me with two falconets? Uh, not normally, no. But, you know, at the end of the day, oh my gosh, he's got a doffel in queue. Is he going to burn this down? You know what? I'm just going to let the master do what the master does because I am but a meager servant to his, his highness. Uh, now, unfortunately, getting a couple of bad shots off on the uh, on the nil guy, making sure I pronounce that very correctly. Uh, I'd hate to pronounce that incorrectly, uh, but uh, now we've got the age up in queue for Samwise going up with the scout. For anybody unfamiliar with the scout, it's the age up for the Spanish that's going to allow them to have four hussars. They'll be most likely popping out from this outpost, probably coming in about seven minutes, maybe a little bit before seven minutes now, shipping that 700 wood, five settlers coming in behind. With these two trading posts, it's going to mean that Samwise has got a steady flow of shipments for the rest of the game. I suspect that when, when he does reach that third age, he's probably going to be sending in Spanish gold. And the reason why I'm suggesting that is because he's already got those five settlers. So really playing a nice greedy build here, dropping down the barracks in base as well. What have we got for, for shipments now? We've got the 700 coin in, so not opting for 700 wood. And look at this, the oh, doppels coming out. Right. Curious whether we're going to see Kaiser... Attempt to yeah. to tank the tower with his explorer. It does look like he is doing that. Look, very, very cute. Very cute. Maybe uh, very skillful would be the other thing. So now that the explorer tanking the damage. Let's see. Well, we've got a bit of a raid coming back here as well. Looks like the explorer was defending. Uh, so now let's check in on Samwise. See what he's got in queue. He's got a couple of Rodoleras in queue instead of training those musketeers. He's overpopped at the moment with seven Rodoleras. This house going up. He'll be able to complete this batch. Probably going to lose this explorer. Going to lose the outpost as well. These doppels actually doing work right here. So putting this one in cover mode because it is being targeted down by the outpost. Very, very smart. Anybody unfamiliar uh, with, with cover mode? Cover mode reduces the incoming range damage by 50%, but it subsequently reduces the speed by 50% and the damage by 50%. Uh, but a really, really good idea to be doing it if your opponent is attacking it with an outpost or with a town center and a very good way to extend the life of your units out. We've also got the Spanish the Spanish uh, Mango Grove sitting quite far up on the map at the moment. So uh, now going for the training post. They're honestly getting a lot of work out of these doppels. This is quite impressive. Now going to be aging up, heading up undoubtedly with the Exiled Prince for a pre-eight minute age up. Samwise about to age up now. No outpost on the middle of the map, so it means he's going to be quite delayed with his age up, or with his uh, with his units to the front line, rather. Uh, Rod Leros now, so I suspect we're going to see that Spanish gold. There it is, that Spanish gold, followed up by a thousand wood, so being very, very greedy here, especially with those five settlers and just so many shipments for this Spanish player. At this point, two more Ulans heading towards the back line. We've got those doppels from Kaiser Klein slowly sieging down the trading post whilst getting the Gangsaw upgrade. We've now got the villager moving out to herd in this hunt that's just running a little bit further away than it should be and probably i wouldn't be surprised if these ulans do eventually find this villager because this villager doesn't have its gray coats and uh, undoubtedly when it does get found oh no what are you doing villager why did you go that way what you no 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 don't siege the house come on kaiser you should know that you shouldn't be sieging houses with ulans especially not two ulans it's not enough to siege a house down what are you doing you silly billy it was obviously accidental drongo it's okay Exiled Prince now age up ha has uh, has been successful. We've got the uh, the settler that looks like it's probably going to be going down here unless we can get a nice little block in the block door oh, the block and the settler survives. Almost looked like he was doing a dab there. I'm not sure if we can get an instant replay on that. It did look like that settler dabbed on the Ulan, uh, but uh, nonetheless the Ulan will undoubtedly get his revenge eventually. Uh, Kaiser Klein sending the three war wagons. So instead of going that more. Uh, greedy build instead of like a a 1000 wood after he has aged up 
going straight for the the war wagons and that's the right thing to do the rule typically is if you're the second person to age up you should be shipping units if you're the first person to age up well you can be as greedy as you like but uh, that obviously depends on what your opponent's doing but in this case both players opting for a fast fortress with kaiser off opting for a bit of a semi-fast fortress now i've got the five skirmishes out a couple units out on the field now 63 population in total compared to the 52 population of Samwise. Now, keep in mind, Samwise has played a little bit greedy here. He's gone for the double uh, economic shipment. He's got the Spanish gold followed up by the thousand wood. So now opting to send the nine Rodoleros from the home city, dropping down a second barracks, dropping down a house. Are we going to see a potential town center come out of him? It's a lot of wood. I don't know exactly what he's going to be spending it all on. Dropping down a second house as well. That's 400 wood. Maybe maybe using a little bit of it in the market. Maybe get some market upgrades. Does he have that steel traps yet? Let's have a look and see. Doesn't have that steel traps yet. Could be getting that place of mines as well. So that's something to think about. He's getting veteran Rodolero. So not a bad choice. Opponent is going to be training a lot of, of uh, Ulans. And if he's not training them, he's going to be getting them for free. And Rodoleros match up especially well against Ulans because of the 40% melee resist. They also have six speed, which means that they're able to chase them down, able really to keep them in combat, follow them around the map, just really being annoying. So it makes sense to be getting or doing this composition, going Skirmisher as well as Rodoleros. Having a look back on the side of Kaiser Klein, we've got war wagons being trained from the stable. Total of five war wagons now. So Kaiser Klein probably expecting to see some lances out of, uh, out of Samwise. One of the things that we do see out of the Spanish players, typically once they reach about, you know, the 12, 13 minute mark is this three unit composition. So what, what we would expect to see is that Sam Weiss is going to be moving from Rodoleros and Skirms into Skirmisher, Rodolero and Lancer. Eventually he may add the two Falconets as well, but it's not really necessary with this type of build, especially up against the Germans. One of the big things is again with the Germans, because of the war wagons, these war wagons do a lot of damage. Okay. And they've got quite a nice range on them. So if you've got Falconets, these are basically pseudo culverin. They they do a really good job of, of killing falconets, so it's kind of a waste. Uh, whereas if you ship lancers, well, it's very difficult for them to focus them focus down because they're just overkilling by so much. You look at that, 42 damage times three. So I'm just going to do some quick math. That's 126 damage right there. Uh, and you've got five of them. You're you know you're doing a huge amount of damage right here. You take a look at that. That's that 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 hussar is gone. You know very easily just gone. And once you start getting up more than say five war wagons, it, it's very, very difficult. Uh, look how, look at that war wagon speed just coming in there and being so cheeky, moving those war wagons up, really trying to get the last shot on this Hussar here, trying to pull it away. But each of those Hussars now being picked off, the Rodoleros in position, 25 Rodoleros out on the field compared and the 20 skirmishers uh, for Samwise. So a pretty decent mass now with those five Lancers out as well. This is the fact that those Hussar got caught is actually really big because it, it means that th that is le three less units that Kaiser Klein now has to target down. He can focus on those Lancers. You know, those those Lancers are going to come up and they're going to hit these skirmishes, but there's not going to be anything really there to keep it. But now we've got a little bit of a fight breaking out. Kaiser Klein uh, just uh, doing a little bit of damage, uh, shooting off the Rodoleros. We've got 30 Rodoleros here. Nice big shipment of five Lancers coming through as well. Skirmishers now pushing out. Kaiser Klein's got to be careful. Don't hit the smugglers, Kaiser. And now the skirmisher war breaks out. We've got 19 skirms on the side of Samwise to the 25 of, of Kaiser Klein. Behind this, Kaiser Klein does have a shipment. Got a fair bit of units, but fair bit of resources stacked up. Probably going to be calling in the Jaegers here. We do see the Jaegers coming in. The Jaegers are definitely going to be able to uh, to play a pivotal role in this matchup. I suspect with okay. the uh, the war wagons. This is the perfect number of war wagons. Okay. Kaiser Klein's obviously done the math and he's worked it out. He said, you know what? Five war wagons is the key amount of war wagons to take out a Lancer, to take out a Hussar. And that's all I need to train. Once I've got five war wagons, I don't need to worry. And he can just do toxic pull track tricking with his Ulans and his war wagons and his skirmishes. He's never really going to lose any units to those Lancers unless... Samwise begins training Lancers. And we don't see any stable down from Samwise yet at this stage. We see Gang Soaring Q though. He doesn't have place of mines at this stage yet. He does finally have his Steel Traps upgrade though. And uh, and both players now only having... Uh, well, we've only got Samwise's and they've got one TP. So two of the TPs have gone down. Perhaps we could see... Uh, where were they? I'm sure that we saw... There they were. Some Doppelsoldners. I hope I'm pr pronouncing that correctly. Doppelsoldner. So we've got some doppel soldiers out on the field. Potentially they could move down here, just do a little bit of sieging, be a bit annoying. Uh, and now we've got Sam picking up the chest of uh, of Woku, the Woku loot, worth 190 coin. Not a bad treasure. 
to pick up. Uh, but uh, Sam's in a position where he's housed. He's he's managed to unhouse himself, but uh, definitely looks like his macro might be a bit off. I think he needs to get a little bit more wood choppers because uh, I I suspect he's he's going to be able to outgrow that uh, that house just a, a little bit too fast. So now more lancers coming in. Now a total of nine lancers. Just bear with me, fellas. I am going to take a swig of this Red Bull. Delicious. Very delicious. But now we got to... Oh my god, look at the size of this mass for Kaiser Klein. This mass is absolutely... This is very intimidating because... When you've got 30 skirmishers and then they're supplemented by the uh, the Jaegers in here as well, it's just... It's so frustrating to deal with. Because you, you can try and focus down these Jaegers, but it's going to be really hard. 28, ja 28 skirms is not enough to kill a Jaeger, I don't think. I think you're going to need more. But look at the Rodolero mass as well for Samwise breaking out now. So we've got 40 Rodoleros that are pushing out towards the front. Almost no Ulans uh, for Kaiser Klein. But the Lancers, there's just not enough of them. The Lancers now hitting onto the the skirmishers, managing to take out a couple of the skirms, and all of the, all of the skirms focusing down a single Rodolero, not doing their best work. Uh, Doppel's definitely in great position right now, managing to pick up a lot of these units. Now we're going to see Kaiser Klein microwing, potentially focusing down this one Lancer. There it goes. So now there's only a handful of Lancers that remain, and Kaiser just very, a, very easily able to uh, micro. At the same time, we've got Kaiser Klein sieging down that house. We talked about this earlier, Kaiser. It's going to take more than two Olens to siege down a house, buddy, and he still hasn't learned. Undoubtedly, the fight still continues on raging right now. And I tell you what, Samwise is actually looking in a pretty good position. There is so many units here for Samwise. There just wasn't enough of, of a real front. But he's still able to fall back, still able to micro away, still slowly uh, managing to, to move back. But I, one of the things I, I'd love to see Kaiser Klein do is, is, is try and split up his units so that they're able to get more damage. So start moving, move some units down here, move units down here, move units over this way. Really just be splitting them up. I want to see, like, you know, StarCraft 2, the Banelings come in. I want to see you split your Marines the same way they split their mar their their Marines. Like, the treat these like Zerglings and Banelings, guys. That's what you got to... you got to find your inner StarCraft 2. But the, the Skirmisher Mass is now really whittling down to almost nothing at this point. We've got War Wagons out, but that's not what we need. If anything, at this point, we need Ulans. At least... Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this where the tides turn? The tides are about to turn. Get ready. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now Kaiser, looking like he's going to be in a, in a position to actually turn this table. He, he's got a fair amount of Rodoleros that are still alive, but uh, looking like he's trying to do a, po a little bit of a toxic pull trick. Not managing to be able to do it, but the Ulan's now connecting with the Skirmishers. And we've got the the uh, the Skirmishers now uh, of Kaiser Klein being able to focus down these Rodoleros. There's not a lot of Rodoleros left, but by the same token, the, the Ulan numbers have fallen down as well. Ulan's now moving to the front. Samwise, wake up, get those Rodoleros moving. Okay, they're moving, they're moving, but uh, now the skirmishes, the, the, the skirmisher numbers have just dwindled so much for Kaiser Klein. It was really, really impressive stuff by Samwise. His, his knowledge of this matchup really indicates just, you know, the fact that he was able to exploit that despite Kaiser Klein having such a huge mass is incredible. Right. And despite all of this, Kaiser Klein's explorer could have been over here meleeing these these pesky skirmishes and keeping them in, in spot. But uh, I suspect we're about to see... Quite a nice timing attack. I don't know whether we'll be sending Cav Combat as the next card. Probably don't have enough experience for it, but dropping down a second town center. You thought you thought this matchup had been worked out, and it wasn't until Kaiser Klein dropped down a second town center that you worked out it hadn't been worked out. So now we've got a fair bit of Ulans on the field. We've got 18 Ulans out now, but you know what? That's not going to be an issue because we've got 21 Rodoleros that are going to be able to meet it. Honestly, at this position, I'm kind of liking Samwise. I feel like Samwise is going to be in a decent spot. He's definitely got, you know, he's got he's got a lot of presence out on the map. He's got the speed with the Rodoleros, and, you know, obviously he's up against the Ulans. But I still feel like he's in a relatively good spot. He's not dropping down the second TC like Kaiser's doing. But uh, I still feel like it's it's not terrible. Have a look at... Do a bit of a stock take. We've got 38 villagers for Kaiser Klein up against 39 for Samwise. Now, keep in mind, Kaiser Klein does have those settler wagons. Settler wagons counting for more than one villager, counting for two villagers. And he's got eight of them. So we add eight to this. So it's a total of 47 villagers. But at the same time, keep in mind, we've got Spanish gold over on Samwise's side, which is equivalent to about eight villages on coin, as long as you've got those shipments coming in. So, it is, it's, uh, I would say at this point, it's pretty even. The fact that Kaiser Klein has dropped a, a town center kind of puts him ahead, though. Uh, so maybe I need to do a little bit of a reassessment. Skirmisher mass starting to build up again for, for Kaiser Klein. 
Samwise moving his Ulans out into position, but there's a huge amount of Rodoleros. This is going to be an issue, but the Lancers, the Lancers, the Lancers are, are hovering around now. These War Wagon need to get over. How many War Wagons are there? We've got four War Wagons. I don't think that's going to be enough to take out a single Lancer in a, in a single volley. Uh, but now these skirmishes are going to be going down. I don't think this is looking good for Kaiser Klein. Uh, th this really isn't looking good for it. Kaiser Klein really trying to pull trick at the moment, but it's so hard against these veteran Lancers and, and the veteran Rodoleros because of the six movement speed. The skirmisher mass is getting to a point where there's absolutely nothing left, and you've got now you can't take out the Rodoleros, and that's where the real problem begins. Minutemen are being called on the back line. It's going to try and distract, but I think that at this point, Kaiser Klein has really been put into the corner quite literally. Rodolero is now beginning to chase down. We've got skirmishes as well moving to take out uh, the, the Ulans on, on the backside. The next shipment is coming in. I suspect we're probably going to see skirmishes, skirmishes shipped from the home city. But uh, we've now got... Uh, what have we got? We've got a bit of a raid going on now. So the Ulans going down to the war dogs. Largo and Pinto taking out the Ulan. You know, it's not every day you see a dog kill a horse, but uh, today is one of those days. 33 idle villagers at the moment as well. Kaiser, not the best moment for Kaiser Klein. Uh, but going for a bit of a raid now himself. 18 Ulans heading in. Probably going over, or going right over here. You know what? Largo won the last fight against the horse, but it's not going to be the, it's not going to be the, the only fight he has today. I'll say that much. But now the Ulans getting caught by the Rodoleros in the middle of the, in the middle of the map. Villagers also moving north. Skirmish is coming into position. We've got a little bit of a swing happening right now. I see a village account potentially about to dwindle down. we got 41 villagers for Samwise, and it's a... Well, we, we've just been caught. Oh, my God. This one Ulan is now snared and catching every single one of these villagers. Uh, as a result, we've got... Oh, my God. The villagers are falling down. The numbers tri trickling down. We've gone from 42 now down to 37 villagers. This town center is no longer being sieged. Killing about... Killing 10 villagers at least at this point. Kaiser Klein trying to put in a bit of magic. Catching another five villagers down here, but being chased by a million Rodoleros at this point. A million Rodoleros to the north, a million Rodoleros to the south, and really chasing that away. I don't know whether that's going to be enough to really keep him in the game because I definitely feel like when it comes to population, I mean, you got 93 versus 99, but, uh, you know, Samwise has just lost a whole bunch of villagers, so he's got a whole lot of military population to consider as well. I'd be very impressed if, if Kaiser Klein somehow manages to pull this one out, but my suspicion is he's probably not going to be able to do it. We'll take a look from Kaiser, Kaiser Klein's perspective. These these uh, these skirmishes getting caught again by Rodoleros. Look at the mass that we've got now from Samwise. So scores now really starting to, to change. We see Samwise definitely... Uh, having more of a visible advantage. Skirm still being chased down by this Rodolero. It's like a swarm of Rodoleros. They really do move like Zerglings, don't they? It's like... And that Kaiser Klein now calling the GG. And that is the end of game two. Kaiser Klein losing that game. Samwise equaling the score. So we've now got a one-to-one -one in the table topper. So congratulations to Samwise for winning the second game. Tell you what, that was a bit of a that was a I, I was scared at a number of points, especially when we start to saw or well, start to saw start to saw start to saw. Yeah, I said it again. When when we saw that really big skirmisher mass in the middle that was like that had Jaegers in it as well, I was like, okay, this is this is really bad. Uh, but I, I guess one of the things was there were just so many Rodoleros that even though there were all those skirms, it was just there were just so many of them. It was it was crazy. Uh,